So hi, I'm Olaf Johansson. I'm a research fellow in the School of Chemistry at the University of Edinburgh. And I look at magnetic materials and try to understand how they can be controlled with light. So I'm very interested in, in, in seeing these magnets and see if we can shine light to actually flip this magnetization direction. And the, in the magnets, you have lots of electrons, and they themselves behave as tiny magnets as well. And I'm, I'm very, very curious if I could somehow use a very big magnifying glass and go in and see what all these little electrons are doing and how I can use light to control them. Uh, that, that's something I'm very fascinated about and trying, trying to understand. Hopefully, if, if we manage to control these magnets with light, we can create much faster and better capable computer memories. And therefore, we can take advantage of all the sort of data we generate in society, in healthcare, or in, in government, or society, or even you know, being able to store all your pictures of your cats on, on, online. So one thing I really like, so I'm, I'm a physicist based in the chemistry department. And um, chemists are really good at making molecular materials. So normal electronics, a lot of it is based on silicon. We have atoms sort of lined up together. But by making molecular materials, you, you can, with chemistry, functionalize different parts of the molecules. So some parts will have the sort of electronic properties that you want and you need for electronics devices. But you can also functionalize other parts of the molecule to show different properties. So you can start to make flexible electronics. So we see now OLED um, screens that are sort of how TV screens that are bent a little bit. But you can also start to envisage you can make TV screen that's almost foldable like a piece of paper. I think you, you get to explore the universe. Uh, even though on, on a day-to-day -day basis you're very focused on a, a particular problem. But if, if you step, take a step back and actually think about it, you're really trying to understand parts of the universe that we, don't, we haven't explored before. So I sometimes I like to think of it as, you know, in the old days you had these explorers that went to different parts of the world where you, we haven't explored before. But actually in the lab we can go to these exotic places that no one's seen before. And I think that, that really inspires me as well. 30-year-olds playing teenagers, I think it's a bit weird, like in Greece. 